Worst to best is a series where I'm ranking every gun within a weapon class after I unlock diamond camo and have tons of experience with each weapon. We're kicking it off with the shotguns of Call of Duty Vanguard, and because Vanguard's 10 attachment gunsmith can drastically change how a weapon performs, I'll be factoring in what a weapon can do at early levels with mediocre attachments and at latter levels with the strongest builds when reviewing each weapon's strengths and weaknesses. I'm also sharing class setups that you can try right after the best weapon. Stick around to the end to hear about a great offer from Into the AM. They make amazing clothing like this shirt here. And if you enjoyed the video, please remember to tap that like button and consider subscribing. And take a look at the graph on the screen right here. The stats are kind of embarrassing. I'm trying to improve them. So if you like what you see, consider subscribing. So let's get started. The worst overall shotgun in Vanguard coming in at the number four spot on this list is the Gracie Auto. The Gracie is a semi-auto shotgun that has been extremely frustrating to level up. It can be okay when you kit it with optimal attachments, but in most scenarios, the downsides of this weapon outweigh anything that is good about it. It deals low damage and will typically take two to three shots to kill. It can one shot if you are within point blank range, but the odds of that happening in game are pretty low. And even when you kit this out with the best attachments, the one shots don't happen often enough compared to its competition. This weapon also will kick like a mule unless you're using the chariot sport barrel, but you combine that with the low starting ammo, you're going to find yourself reloading the Gracie often. And the reload is painfully slow on this weapon. Most of your time leveling up the Gracie, you'll be spending more time reloading after spraying your shots hoping that you can get a kill rather than actually killing enemies this weapon is just way too inconsistent it does get better when you do have good attachments combined at higher weapon levels for example the buck and slug combined with the range barrel make the gracie a consistent two shot kill even a one shot kill if you aim for the head and upper chest but in the end there's just much better options if you do like the gracie I recommend you try out the shotgun at the number 3 spot, which is the Einhorn Revolving. The Einhorn is a semi-auto revolving barrel shotgun that has very similar stats to the Gracie, but packs extra punch in the places that actually matter. It has similar weaknesses and suffers from low starting ammo, a slow reload, has some pretty aggressive recoil which makes it hard to spam shots unless you're within point blank range. But the Einhorn boasts a great base range stat that's on par with the top two shotguns on this list, which results in consistently more one-shot kills. The better attachments that alleviate the weaknesses are unlocked later in leveling for the Einhorn. I think its full potential is unlocked at level 50 when you unlock the 710 barrel which will increase range and helps with the recoil control significantly. You also have access to the 7 round cylinder mag at this point which actually speeds up the reload for this weapon allows you to be really aggressive with it. I also think the Einhorn is the best shotgun for hardcore for you hardcore players. You can snipe people across the map with the insane range this weapon boasts and it's semi-auto so you can like wipe out entire teams within milliseconds. So yeah, it's a pretty decent shotgun. It offers pretty much everything the Gracie has to offer and then even more. It can be a bit painful at first but the Einhorn definitely has its use cases. At the number 2 spot, the second best shotgun in Vanguard, we have the Double Barrel. The Double Barrel is a break action shotgun that fires two rapid shots before you have to reload it. Early on in your leveling journey, you can get one shot kills with this weapon, but I found it's best to fire off both of the barrels to secure a kill and then duck to reload like you would with a pump action shotgun. This gameplay style could be a bit slow, but it only gets better. The latter attachments like the Huntsman Barrel will allow for more consistent one-shot kills. You have different mags and ammo types that can push the range even further. And then when you unlock the faster reload attachments, obviously that will reduce your time spent reloading. The Double Barrel's true niche is that it is the only shotgun that you can wield a Kimbo. If you think the Akimbo Double Barrel shotgun is the best in the game, I'm not even going to argue with you. That's a very valid opinion. It is crazy strong in the Akimbo version. You literally get double the firepower 
more shots to work with you can alternate using one at a time so you always have a gun up or you could just fire off both of the barrels for insanely long range kills and be hyper aggressive and just slap teams silly not to mention it's just extremely fun to use in the first place so overall the double barrel is a solid shotgun but if you look at the entire picture i don't think it offers enough to take the number one spot from the combat shotgun yes that's right the best shotgun in vanguard probably coming to no surprise is the combat shotgun the combat shotgun is your classic pump action shotgun it is a reliable one shot kill from the get-go it has great range it has the highest base damage between all the shotguns which means you don't have to land as many pellets on an enemy in order to get a kill you don't have to be insanely accurate with this gun it's a great hit firing shotgun and it has a decent reload speed you reload the weapon shell by shell so you can reload cancel at any time if you need your weapon back up to engage an enemy plus this has multiple drum mag options for an even quicker reload and things only get better as you unlock more attachments the combat shotgun has the most variety when it comes to attachments it has barrels that suit every play style you can imagine that you don't see in any of the other three shotguns you also have the option to use the vital proficiency which will increase the critical hit area on enemies and is great to pair with any attachments that may result in damage loss with that said i find it best to max out the range and damage on the combat shotgun it makes this thing super deadly super consistent and it is quick handling it's everything i could ask for in a shotgun it's crazy but not as crazy as the into the am sale happening right now i've been working with them for about three years now i absolutely love their stuff their black friday cyber monday sale is running now through december 3rd you can get anywhere from 20 percent up to 80 percent off site wide they have graphic tees like this new astro adventure one they have other sick designs i mean i even just saw one of my favorite designs up for five dollars on the site they just launched a minimal line for some of their more popular designs if you're into that stuff they do fleece hoodies and all over print hoodies uh, jackets joggers and more on top of the sale you can save an additional 10% off if you shop through my link that I'll have down below in the description and in the pinned comment maybe you disagree on a shotgun or perhaps with my entire list as always you are encouraged to comment your own best to worst list but make sure you try out these class setups on screen before doing so there's tons of loadouts you can make with the 10 attachment systems in this game but these classes are what i've gravitated towards and used in the gameplay for this video Check out my worst two best playlists for more videos like this one. Don't forget to like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to help support the channel directly, check out some of the links towards the bottom of the description. Peace.